So I've had a bit of a hiccup with the actual audio on this, so I'm actually doing a voiceover at home now, and I'm going to overlay it back on. But I was asked to do an overstreet by Andy, and I had a right job finding it, so I'm going to have a walk up there. It starts off a bit boring from Ecclesall Road. It's got modern sort of 50s, 60s flats up here, but then as we progress up the road you'll start to see it become more interesting so just bear with me as we walk up the road you can start to see this first church and the church is actually in our flats which is a shame It's going to be very strange because there won't be any background cars or anything on this. But as you can see, it's a beautiful afternoon, even though it was forecast to be quite wet. But I do actually prefer actually recording as I'm going along rather than coming back. But I've seen these churches from Anover Way, which is running parallel with Anover Street, which is where I think it got its name from. But I've never actually been right up to this church before. So Anover Way would have been put through in the 60s, 70s, dual carriageway, taking its name off Anover Street. That's what I'm guessing anyway. So you can just see Anover Way up there. But it's a shame to see another religious building not being used for its purpose. Now, I'm not religious, but I'm more sort of spiritual, so it's the same difference to me. I don't know if those are the original cobblestones we've just seen. Like I said, it's a bit harder to narrate after because you sort of don't point the camera when you want to point the camera. But you can see some of these houses around here are quite nice. But it was a private road sign here, so I thought, you know, I'll, I'll respect people's privacy and not walk down it. Just show you the... Uh, general feeling for it but like I said I don't know if they're the original cobblestones or not so I've now ordered a new microphone for when I go down to London I'm glad it actually went faulty while I was doing this video because I dread to think if I'd have gone to London and done seven hours of footage I mean, to re-record all the footage. But there's some great parts of Sheffield still tucked away. But can anybody tell me what this building is here now on the right-hand side? I'll get the camera angle on it again in a moment. But we're actually moving to Upper Anover Street, I think it's called. There's a sign on the wall just there. So this building just on the right hand side, anybody know what it is? But just looking at this building as well, does anybody know what this building is? But this one I'm also interested in, what was the purpose of this building originally? I'll pop the description of this church 
in the description because so I've not actually researched what the church is yet, but I'll pop it that in the description. I wouldn't have done it if I was walking around. I couldn't find anything on it, but I noticed that it had been converted into flats when I looked in the actual doorway. But what I'm doing is I'm playing the actual video on the screen. So you can just look at that actual carving or whatever it is. I can't believe that somebody chiseled that out. So what I'm actually doing is I'm actually playing the video on my computer screen. Then I'm using Audacity now to actually create a voice track. Then what I'll use is Clip Champ, remove the old voice out and add this latest narration in so if you're a techie you know what I'm doing so I think these are mock modern buildings up here but this whole area down and over way when they bulldozed the road through back in the 50s 60s 70s whenever it was would have lost so much of Sheffield So I think we've got another pub here. But I don't know what that pub's called. Problem is I haven't got a full video window open, so if the pub uh, pub's name was on it, I can't see it on this screen at the moment. But like I said, I think these are modern builds here made to look like the old bills. So we're just about coming on to an overway. It's a strange little street this, Andy. It's just as though people pass it by unless you actually live round here. Probably so eerie with the uh, voiceover so quiet in the background, no road road noise. But real traditional Sheffield around here. So we're actually coming up, I think it's to call Libby Grieve Road, where the old Anderson's Relish Factory was. It's been renovated by the university, who I think now own it. It's cost quite a lot of money to do that. I think it's going to be used as some kind of venue. So I think this was the United Reform Church some kind it should be on this notice board in a moment so saint andrew's united reform church looks really well maintained so it's got a congregation as well See how well that door's painted on it. But 
there's some history in these parts. I don't know what this building was originally. But it looks like the more well-to-do live around here. Wilkinson Street. Same again, I don't know if these are original cobbles or whether they're just modern variants of cobbles. Well, I'm guessing most of this area of Sheffield's been taken over by the university or people from the university living around here. So I think we've got Arvis here. And that sort of takes you up to the university. And I think that's where the hospital is up there as well. I'm going to have a walk down Portobello Road. <laughs> 